Yeah, Vicki, this is a unique situation because police say there was an attempted cover-up, but we also talked to a firearm safety expert about what responsible parents can do to make sure a gun doesn't end up in the hands of a child. Your bond is $100,000 full cash uh, with a no contact order with the child victim. The child's mother, Jasmine Wiggins, his father, Gerald White, and his uncle, Dewan Floyd, are all charged with child abuse, wanton endangerment, and tampering with evidence. Police say Floyd was supposed to be watching the three-year-old at a home near 32nd Street and Greenwood Avenue on May 20th. They say the child found a handgun and shot himself in the leg. I mean, I understand Judge, she wasn't present, but the allegations are that when she discovered it, she did not immediately seek treatment for her child. And then the allegations go on further that she was attempting to clean up evidence of this after the fact. I mean, this is very serious. It is very serious. Quionis Corneal of the anti-gun violence group Whitney Strong teaches firearm safety. So there's a ton of different cases and locking uh, mechanisms out there um, that allow you to access your firearm quickly, right? With the proper training, you can load your firearm and have it ready to use in less than two to three seconds. And he says parents should talk to their children, even toddlers. You know, it might be pointing to it and say, no, 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 or hot, right? Um, a lot of kids associate hot with pain, right? Because they've touched the stove or the food's burnt their tongue. Now, the judge set the bond for all three defendants at $100,000 and said none of them can have contact with the child. They're all due back in court on June 23rd. Mark Vanderoff, WLKY News.